good day YouTube. This is just a quick video on a uh, comparison between Ubuntu 19.10 on the left and Ubuntu 20.04 on the right. Currently in beta, but almost complete there. Now, uh, this is going to be a completely unscripted video. I haven't done really done one of these for a while here, but um, starting off, uh, at a glance, you might think to say that you can see that they do look the same, which is, which is mostly true to say. You can see that they are both running on the, the GNOME uh, desktop interface there. And in fact, if we pop up some of the spec sheets here, we've got the desktop environment, GNOME 3.34 and desktop GNOME still 3.35, so a small iteration above, which does have a few cool, neat little differences there. Uh, but uh, in fact, not the least of which is the, the, the tone or the color or the look of the, the color palette, perhaps, of uh, these operating systems. The old one is more orange, and uh, you can see that it's kind of, uh, it's, it's been, been a bit of a long-standing look for Ubuntu. Now they're cooling it down, which is kind of like about uh, maybe, 10 or 20 iterations ago of Ubuntu, uh, Ubuntu 10.04, if I remember correctly. But that was a long time ago there, and it seems to be going back to some of its roots, but I do like it. It's just much cooler, easier on the eyes to look at, in my humble, humble opinion there. So I'm very, very, very much a fan of the way that it looks there. Uh, next up we have so the uh, well, the window manager that that's uh, similar to the the desktop interface it's using a gnome or nautilus setup so i've already had that open so probably won't touch that completely unscripted moving on uh, we have the uh, i guess um, we we have a few differences what's something that's really quite common with upgrades between one and the other of uh, ubuntu is the kernel right here so current one is on 5.3 and the next kernel will be on 5.4. So uh, they've locked it in now that it's in the beta, which is good to see. So I'm very happy to see that they've always, they're always doing some of the latest and greatest kernels, better for later hardware, later computers, later specs. So yeah, it's, it's quite good to see that. Uh, unlike Linux Mint, who usually uses a bit of an older kernel, depending on uh, how you count it. But um, yeah, so there we go. Uh, it's it's really throwing me off here. The colors. It's it's gone from dark to white to dark uh, purple again. It's just a little bit ugly. The older current version, and I do really enjoy the new version there. Uh, if we were to have a little bit of a look at the resource usage, they both use about the same amount of RAM. Uh, the Ubuntu 19.10 current on the left, 7.2, sorry, 702 megabytes of RAM, whereas uh, the one on the right, 740 megabytes of RAM. It's not too bad considering uh, Ubuntu many years ago used to use about 1, 1 1.1 gigabytes of RAM. So optimized uh, on either way on that end there. Uh, Apps isn't something I normally get into too much, just purely because uh, it's Ubuntu or Linux and any Linux distro, you, you can basically download anything that's on the Linux suite of applications anyway, or compile it yourself. So not something that I'll too much get into there. Just a nice little scroll of the, uh, the desktop environment that is GNOME 3.35x, all of that. Uh, let's see, so we've got a, yeah, a little bit of a look, we've got the new wallpaper as you can plainly see there, always nice to see, I'm always quite a fan of what's going on there as well. Uh, but um, yeah, in much for much in terms of functionality, mostly the same, a little few key differences. I've done a video on the top new features, but uh, yeah, day to day usage, you're going to find it's the same. Like I say, the color palette, really much more nicer, really really clean and crisp and easier on the eyes, just, just generally I think there, so I'm very happy about that too. Uh, but uh, yeah, slightly newer kernel, uh, all of that. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Just a quick comparison between the two. So uh, thanks for watching. Please leave a comment and subscribe and all of those nice things. Cheers, guys. Hope you've enjoyed.